Guys, while we've been squaring away things to get ourselves better prepared, um, I came across something that I've had for a while, and it's something, though, that I found that was absolutely ingenious. This is the OST 2.0. It is the Operator Survival Tool. Uh, there's a number of tools in here, especially if you own an AR-15, that this could be invaluable. And so we're going to look at all the different features. It comes in this little capsule. It's about the size of two CR123s. But stick around, guys. This is a really cool option to have with your rifle, but also has some other items that are survival related. Now, guys, I got this through a BattleBox subscription, but they do sell these separately on their website. And so I'm going to have a link down below in the description. And this is like $24.95. But once you take a look at it, it is well worth it. Now this is a small little kit, but it contains a lot of essentials. And you just have a kind of a tube, it's hard plastic. And then we have an opening here. We're gonna look at that in just a second, but it does screw off. And then we have our container here, and this has the items in it. Now inside we have three different items. First, we have a ceramic rod, and this way you can be able to sharpen your knives. And then we have a ferrocium rod. We can actually start fire. And then we have a multi-tool that is specific to the AR-15. And we're going to demonstrate a lot of the different features of it, and we're going to go through each one. Now take your cap and put it back on. And then we're going to remove the other side with the hole. And this is actually a small little area you can pop this in, and it's going to hold your rod, uh, whether it's your fair sim rod or the ceramic rod. Now, I think originally they had a diamond-coated uh, rod, and uh, this is the ceramic, and to me, I like this a lot better. Just take your knife, you can just get that edge. Now, guys, if you've ever been out using your knife quite a bit, uh, you know, this really will fine-tune your blade. It'll keep it sharp. And this can also go with a lot of other tools as well, not just your pocket knife or your EDC knife. And when you want to remove it, just unscrew it, and you pull it right out. Same thing with the fair sim rod. Drop it in. I mean, this thing, it holds it very well. As well, I mean, it just really holds down. Got a lot of strength to it. So we're going to check this out. Now with the fair sim rod, you typically want to use the back end of your blade. And you want to scrape off a little bit of that black coating. And then you take it and pull the striker towards you. There we go. Vaseline and cotton balls. Great stuff. And you can use this as the striker for your fair sim rod. Now this is the operator survival tool itself. And uh, this is made to help with different cleaning operations for your AR-15 bolt and bolt carrier. It is made from D2 tool steel. And so that is a really tough steel. In fact, they've upgraded it over the first generation. Now there's a hex shape in the center. And this will fit any of your little bits. A quarter inch bit so we can take it in here and use this as an actual uh, t-handle and one of the things about this particular especially if you have scope rings you can get different sizes to fit whatever rings you have but you can also use screwdriver bits I mean seriously the sky's the limit and a lot of accessories use the Torx setup and so this makes it really nice you can have a little small pack to go with it but where this really comes in is on your AR-15 bolt and bolt carrier and so we can take this small little pick right here and we can pull out our firing pin retaining pin, drop out our firing pin. Uh, one thing with this is a lot of carbon builds up right in this area. Now here's your firing pin cleaning area. So you can put it down into there and then just turn it. And just go ahead and give it some pressure and just turn and it's going to relieve any kind of carbon buildup right there at that ledge. And then we have a little bit of a smaller size because sometimes these are, they run a little differently. And we can put that one in as well. Just go ahead and turn it, giving it some pressure. And with the edge, it's so sharp, you're going to be able to clean this area right here. And of course, without damaging it. We're going to take out our cam pin, just remove the bolt. Now take this top tip, put it down into the back of your bolt. It slides down into it. And then it fits right against this area right here, which this really is known for building up carbon. And you can see it. And so as we take it, look at that. It just scrapes it right off. And this is going to keep you from damaging the bolt as well. But we can take and clean that out really easily. And that's one of the things about a direct impingement gas system is a lot of times that carbon does build up right in that area. Now on the lugs of your bolt, the little V-shape, 
just come in you can clean out any kind of debris right in that area I mean this thing, this thing is really pretty cool very well thought out on the face of your bolt carrier just drop the tool down and then just turn uh, that is another area down there on this ledge that gets a lot of carbon build up you can see where it's getting it cleaning it up this is just going to help your bolt and bolt carrier to run very efficiently now you'll see this little area right here. This is somewhat of a pry bar, which has become very popular. You can see the little 45 degree angle. And this actually will remove nails as well. And so this is just something added. Uh, they could have just left this flat to clean out the inside of the bolt carrier. But uh, this gives you just an added bonus. And to be honest, this could probably be used as a flathead screwdriver for some, you know, larger screws. Then also we have a bottle cap opener. And so, you know, that's always handy and easy to incorporate. So guys, it gives you a lot of options to keep your bolt carrier group clean and uh, it just those specialized tools that you need to get that carbon out. Guys, it's easy to pop back in uh, to your capsule and go in this direction, then the small round holes for each of the rods. Bring in your cap. The length of the container is about two and a half inches and that equals the same as two CR123 batteries. Now guys, a lot of stocks have compartments built in, and uh, this is one that has this tube inside, but to get to it, you actually have to take it off. Here we just turn this tube, bring it out, remove the end piece, drop down the OST, pop it on, and it goes right back into our stock. And also, because of the size, you could actually put some CR123s in here, and of course, then you have your other side. But also there are a lot of grips with compartments underneath and uh, just slides right in. And that way you can just keep it in your grip. So while this isn't as sexy as a free float handguard or a Geisley trigger, uh, this could really save the day. Especially if you're shooting a lot, you need to clean your bolt and bolt carrier. Plus you have the ability for fire and you have the ability to keep your knife sharp. And for $24.95, it is just cheap insurance. The OST 2.0 is just excellent. Operator survival tool. And again, go to BattleBox, and I'll have the link down below in the description. It is an affiliate link, uh, but because I do a lot of stuff with BattleBox. But guys, this is just something I feel that I want with every one of my rifles. Because as you well know, the AR-15 bolt carrier, it can get really dirty. And this will help take care of it. Plus, you can start fire and keep your knife sharpened. I mean, just an ingenious little tool. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. I've had this for a while. I was coming, I came, okay. This is the OST, which is for, doesn't have enough carbon in it to make, ow. Also, you want to make sure. And one of the great things about the tool is you can use it as your striker, I think. Okay. It is made from D2 tool. Okay. <laughs> D2 tool. And guys, when you're, wrong hole. Wrong hole. This hole. Wrong, wrong.